This video goes over how to construct parallel lines in Geometer Sketchpad using the compass or circle tool and the straight edge segment tool and the corresponding angles. To start, we're going to press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and we're going to construct any segment that we wish. Next, we're going to press the second button down, which is the point tool, and we're going to create two new points. One that is somewhere on our segment that we just constructed and another one that's off of our segment. Then we're going to highlight this first point and our second point and we're going to create a line that goes through them using the construct option and then line. Then you're going to press the third button down which is your compass or circle tool and you're going to construct a circle starting at the intersection point of your two lines and extending it out as far as you would like. I'm going to have mine go to about here. Then you're going to create a new segment that connects the two points where your circle intersects your lines. So the first one is here and the next one is up here. We will use the segment later in the video. You're going to also construct another segment that's the radius of your current circle that you have. You're going to highlight your radius, which it already is, and you're also going to highlight this extra point that we first started with that was off of our line. And I'm going to go to the Construct menu and select Circle by Center and Radius. And now we have two congruent circles. Next, you're going to create a point where your circle intersects your transversal. Then you're going to highlight this intersection point and this extra segment that we had created and we're going to again use the same construct circle command. Construct circle by center and radius. Then you're going to press the second button down again, the point tool, and you're going to create a point where our two circles intersect. Next we're going to create a line by highlighting this intersection point and the center of our second circle that we created that is congruent to the first and then we're going to go to construct line. To hide all of the extra circles and segments we're going to highlight each of those items that we no longer need and we're going to go to display hide path objects. We can verify that the lines are parallel by measuring the sets of corresponding angles. So first I'm going to highlight the first three and then do measure angle. Then I'm going to do the same down here. Highlight the three points and then do measure angle. As you can see the two angles are 49.88 degrees so therefore they are congruent and therefore our lines are parallel.